The moves in free agency just keep happening, and we can cross off the number one player left on PFW's list of free agents. Antonio Cromarty is going back to the New York Jets. This was a tough situation for Rex Ryan and Mike Tannenbaum because we all knew the Jets really wanted Namdi Asimo. They lost the Asimo sweepstakes. Now they got to go back to Cromarty and try to convince him to stay in New York when he knows that he wasn't their first choice. Uh, but they obviously came to a deal. It also helped that guys like Bart Scott, Ladanian Tomlinson supposedly took some pay cuts so they can create some salary cap room and keep Cromartie. And you got to say the Jets still have probably the top cornerback tandem in the league with Cromartie and Darrell Rivas. Yeah, it may not be Osmal, but a pretty good fill-in, although maybe some hard feelings there. Another guy going to the Jets, another big name, Plaxico Burris. He, we were hearing that he may go back to the Giants, the Steelers, but ultimately it's staying in New York with the Jets. Yeah, not a huge surprise. Rex Ryan and the Jets have kind of created this haven for guys that have some off-the-field issues, and they come into New York, and, and they're able to stay out of trouble. And the Jets really wanted a tall receiver for Mark Sanchez to get the ball to. He has, tends to overthrow receivers sometimes, and we assume this means Braylon Edwards is going elsewhere, so Plax will be his replacement. Everyone wants to see what he looks like when he gets in the field. I mean, it's been three years, three seasons, excuse me, since he caught a football uh, in the game. So again, we all want to see if he's going to make an impact with the Jets. Just seems like a perfect fit. Those guys playing for the Jets, you just expect it at this point. Staying in the AFC East, Matt Light will remain with the New England Patriots. Really a big move. They need that left tackle. Yeah, they needed him. I think when they drafted Nate Solder in the first round, they, people thought, well, maybe this means Matt Light's going elsewhere. The lockout, though, Solder hasn't got a chance to learn the playbook, get into practice. Really need to keep Matt Light. Blindside, Pro Bowl tackle for Tom Brady. Big move for the Patriots. And finally, Ahmad Bradshaw, after running out of options, it sounds like, essentially is remaining back with the New York Giants. Yeah, he kind of flirted a little bit. He was supposed to visit the Bengals. The Dolphins were interested in him. And the market really dried out for veteran running backs, and he decided to stay in New York. He had a career year last year. Brandon Jacobs took a bit of a pay cut and took a restructure of that contract, and now you got Bradshaw and Jacobs back. New York Giants look like they're going to be really up there with the Philadelphia Eagles and the Cowboys. It's going to be a great division to watch the NFC East next year. Yeah, that running game was so good last year with Bradshaw back in the fold. The Giants should be even better. That's the latest of what's going on around the NFL. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter or go to ProFootballWeekly.com.